Cup. It's the annual battle of college football supremacy for the Evergreen State. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Washington is lined up for the opening kickoff, so here we go. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Washington State's offensive staff, they really build things around this guy, and they know that they can be confident in what he can do all game long. Yeah, I think they, they trust in all of his abilities. And the big thing also is he avoids those silly mental mistakes. He, he does not line up in the wrong position. He's not going to turn the wrong way. More importantly, he's not going to miss out on a blitz on pass protection. So he's, a, he's really just a total package, very consistent, very reliable running back that this team utilizes. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it third and three. Here they come. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. McGrew back to return it. McGrew fields it at the 26. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. They try to get a head start there. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start as a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. From their own 25-yard line, first down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That'll be a gain of five. The slant is so hard to defend when the pass is right on the money, but at least the defense was there to keep it from turning into a bigger play. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle at the 29-yard line. A one-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Brown to punt. Tackle made at the 46. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. And they get nice yardage on that one. Cooper picks up about seven yards there after keeping the ball on the option. the stop the 38 yard line superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver and the result again a nice play for the offense quick throw out to the receiver incomplete that one sailed on it he wanted his receiver but i think that may have slipped out of his hands that makes it second and ten. from the 38 yard line it's second down hit before he can go anywhere. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. That's good enough for another Washington State. First down. He flings it right. 
The defender had it and then dropped it. They're really fortunate to still have a shot at points. That wasn't one of the prettiest passes I've ever seen. He's got to be relieved it wasn't picked. From the 23-yard line, it's second down. Got a man. Watch out here. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. The quarterback did an excellent job of recognizing the Mike linebacker on the blitz. He hung in there, delivered the pass, and his receiver made a good catch to move the sticks. Good throw, caught, touchdown. He adds the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 54-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's tackled at the 34. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Good run by the quarterback. The thing that impresses me is the decision making. He sees an opening, decides to turn it upfield, and gets a nice gain in a first down. Quick throw, steps out of bounds at about the 45. That brings him second and five. Nice run up the middle. So that's a seven yard run there for the running back. That's an excellent call against an aggressive defense. Once those linemen and linebackers bit on the pass play, they completely lost track of the runner. Quick throw. And down he goes at the 35 yard line. Game 13 on the play. That makes it first and 10. And he throws it away. From the 35 yard line. Second down. Caught with room to work. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Slings it out there incomplete. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. Washington is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cougars really taking care of business early in this football game. Yeah, somebody forgot to tell them that there's a big underdog in this game and they're supposed to lose. I love their confidence that they're playing with right now. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Washington State is up by four. They'll bring him down right around the 46-yard line. And that one's in. 
incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Going deep. Lays it up there. He caught it. Touchdown, Washington State. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. And he hits the PAT. So a four-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. So the score now, 14-3. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Washington State's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Nice run, and he's brought down. On the run, right side. He takes it right side for a good game. Call it a game of six yards. First down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's tackled at the 47. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. Down the 47 yard line. Got his man, can't tack on any yardage. That's a game of seven on the play. That makes it third and three. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. From the 28-yard line, first down. Slings it out, and it gets tipped. Coach is going to have to be happy with that one. The defender was in the right position to make the play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Just throws this one away. He flings it. It's picked off. He's on the run. The defense here comes up with a huge interception. They've already got the lead, and it looked like this offense was trying to get back in the game, but that was a big turnover. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at the 44. Here comes the pressure. He chucks it downfield. Almost picked off. Harris was the intended receiver on the play. They're about four yards away here on third down. He's knocked out of bounds. 
around the 35-yard line. He gets rid of this one. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. And he's tackled right away. He's tackled in the open field. run up the gut. That'll bring up second and three. Looks to the back and can't connect. Number 21, the intended receiver. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Almost has the INT. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. The kick is up, and he's got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And down he goes at the 22-yard line. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. And he's taken down at the 24. He heaves it deep. Can't connect. He must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. We've got third and eight. Ball on their own 24. Fires incomplete, knocked away. Number 15 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. Harris is back deep to return the punt. Harris fields it at the 37, and he's tackled at the 48. Washington State's lighting up the scoreboard so far, and the guys on the other sideline are having to settle for field goals. And that's got to change if they're going to have a chance to be able to win this game. They're moving the ball well, but they've got to put the ball into the end zone. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Gets rid of it. From their own 48 yard line. Second down. Tackle at the 45. That is a loss of three yards. That'll make it third and 13. is out to the tailback on the screen. And they make the stop at about the 49. That's four yards on the play. They executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. McGrew is the deep man awaiting the return. 
booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down and 10 to go. Ball in their own 20. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Tackled for a loss. Brown is waiting for the snap. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. The Cougars are looking like they're unstoppable right now. They just exploded in this game. I don't know if the defense can adjust or not. Well, they have big playability all over the field, and this defense has got to make some adjustments to do a better job of trying to slow them down. I would recommend trying to put some more pressure on this quarterback by loading the line of scrimmage. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Strike and he drops it. This is incomplete. Number 85, the intended receiver on the play. They'll call on the field goal unit. Kicks away. No good. He hooked it left. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Let's it fly. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's a First down. Throwing right. And this one's broken up. I don't think the quarterback read the zone properly. The linebacker was in a great spot to make a play on the ball. From the 36-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled in the open field. Number 18 brings him down at the 27-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. And they push him out at about the 27-yard line. It's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. It's up. No good. He missed it to the left. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He 
He's under pressure. Strike to his receiver. No good. Third and five. Ball on the 32-yard line. Here's the give. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Call it a game of two yards. That brings up fourth and three. And they're coming after this punter. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And down he goes around the 46-yard line. That's a gain of 14 yards on the way. First down. They finally push him out at the 24-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Just throws this one away. From the 24-yard line, second down. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. Thomas makes up the pass. Third down. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. So it's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. Washington is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Washington State staff, you've you got to think they're going to be happy. They're almost here at halftime. They've got the lead, and their main guy's not playing very well. Well, to think that they have this lead without him playing well, I think, is a testament to the way they've approached this week. You know, he's he's eventually going to catch fire. I'm sure as they talk uh, to one another at halftime, they're probably not going to get too far away from the game plan. Continue to utilize their star player and hope that the others continue to play well in the second half. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. The halfback with a carry. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. He fights forward to around midfield. It to the 48 yard line. Down at 
at the 29. Here's the eighth play of the series. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made around the 16-yard line. play 71 yard drive and they get it in for seven so the score now 24 6 Washington State lines up for the kickoff nice kick plenty of distance this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half these next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. Nice run there. Gain of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. He's going to air it long. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 40. Just throws this one away. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Harris is back to receive. He fields it at the 17. He's taken down at the 22. Washington State's running ability is what we've been talking about and looking at all week long, and that's what we thought would be on full display. It's been the air game, Kirk. Yeah, it's an interesting move here, Brad. For a team with a start in the backfield, I'd expect them to try to establish the ground game a little bit more, but still early in this game, we're seeing them following this trend to see if it continues here in the second half. And he throws it away. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. He gets rid of this one. And they got it. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. They've got ten guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. Oh, excellent punt. 
McGrew fields it at the 38. He makes it to the 48-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Newton off the right side. Got the corner. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Call it a gain of four yards. First down. Four down, four down. Got a man in and out of his hands. Number eight was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Ball on the 36 yard line. And he's taken down around the 27 yard line. Number 18 makes the tackle at the 27 yard line. Third down. Now he's got room to run. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. They shredded the defense with the option run there. That's a big gain to keep this drive going. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. The Huskies call a timeout. That's their second of the half. This is the eighth play of the drive. He's got it with room to run. And he's shoved out of bounds right around the four-yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Washington. This back has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 48-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cougars are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. Throws it out right to the running back. Tackle at the 30. the grab that's going to bring up fourth down yeah they just couldn't connect on a pass there that was a very good stand by this defense McGrew back deep to return and this one is a beauty 
and he's taken down at the 38-yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Moves up in the pocket. Aaron and out long. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. From their own 38-yard line, second down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. Throws it deep. And they make the stop around the 21-yard line. We've reached halftime, and I don't think too many people were expecting this. 24-13, Washington State. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Do you know what happens after a first half like that? No, what happens? What happens is offensive coordinators, they're not coordinators anymore. They're goons. Ah, they're wizards. Okay. They're attractive They're candidates. writing a book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they're writing a new book saying this is how you move the ball. Uh, I, I tell you what, when you put on a clinic like that, I guess you can. And you can start thinking like that. Maybe you start thinking about getting a head coaching job as well. But everything that you wanted to do on offense was executed flawlessly. There's got to be some kind of – there's got to be some way to stop themselves in the second half because right now it didn't look like anybody can stop these offenses. That will do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Going deep, lays it out there. And he's hit immediately. Nice play. Good job here by the quarterback is staying with his receiver. And the receiver stays with the route because he knows his quarterback has the arm strength to get it there. He's at the 40. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. That's a game of 14 on the play. That makes it first and 10. That's a two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From the 37-yard line, second down. And down he goes around the 29-yard line. That's a game of eight on the play. I think the play call was the right one by the offense. I just think the defense made a better play. They seem to want it more here on this big third down. Offense comes up a little bit short to set up a fourth down to give all the credit to the personnel on the defensive side of the ball. He gets it up and he splits the uprights. Lined up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. 
Washington State holds an eight-point advantage. He's going to go for the home run. Makes the catch, and he might take it. Down the sideline. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 26. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He gets out to about the 28 yard line. Throw, man, that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. From their own 28 yard line, third down. He's level at the 47. Both players were very aggressive in going after that ball. This could go either way. Offense. They'll give this one another try after Still the flag. Down. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Third and even longer now after the penalty. It's the tailback, and he's tackled around the 18-yard line. Nowhere to go on the delay. That makes it fourth and long. Brown to punt. Oh, what a hit. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just happened. I'm sure that touchdown and their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. He's short that time. No question. He had him open, but just couldn't manage to get the ball up enough to allow his wide receiver to get his hands on it. Brought down the 39-yard line. That brings us third and ten. Those completely stopped immediately. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. It's up. Tough break there for the kicking team. And our score, 31-16, Washington State. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 35. Quick pass. He's taken down to 37-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. They come out on an empty backfield. 
throws in a hurry. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's taken down at the 23. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Surprising to me that the secondary was in such good position. I thought the play call had him fooled at first, but a nice play by the D. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Tackle after positive yardage. First down. They'll work the left side. He gets hit out of bounds at the nine. That makes it second and two. Runs right for a nice game. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it first and goal. Packer around the three yard line. That brings him second and goal. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Start start offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they can just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. From the eight-yard line, second down. <laughs> Tackle made at about the three-yard line. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Touchdown, and it ain't over yet. Really good vision here by the quarterback and a good understanding of where he was on the field. He didn't need much, and he knew he could get it himself. And he converts the extra point. It was an 11-play, 70-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Washington State holds an eight-point advantage. Quick throw, incomplete, wanted his receiver. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. And he just gets rid of it. Taken down at the 25. No gain. Fourth down. McGrew is back awaiting the punt. Oh, excellent punt. Brought down at the 36 yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Quick throw to the tight end. Tackle at the 42. 
call it a gain of six yards. That brings him second and five. the 44-yard line. Gets it out complete again to his tight end. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. First down. And he's tackled at the 40. Gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Gain of three on the way. That makes it first and ten. Sets up a screen, tailback's got it, and they make the stop at the 34. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. They hand it off. They'll get him for a loss. This guy's out of the stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. They found out right here on this play. Hit the ground incomplete. Fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Kicks away. So the junior kicker isn't able to put it through. So we'll change possession with a score 31 23, Washington State. They're ready to begin another drive. Washington State up by eight. Catches it, and that's all. The halfback with a carry. Nice gain as he works the right side. From their own 46-yard line, second down. had it intercepted. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. Oh, what an interception. And he's level at the 23. The pressure up front is really what did it. The coverage was good, and maybe it confused him, but it was the heat that forced the bad throw. First and 10, ball on the 23-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. run up the middle. Great display of offense by both teams so far. As we head to the fourth, 31-23, Cougars.
All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. The 47. That's, That's good for a game of 19 yards. yards. First, First down. down. Fires to his tight end. Nothing to it. You got to give the receiver a chance to make the play. That was just underthrown. From their own 47 yard line. Second down. And a quick throw. Brought down around the 49 yard line. That's a good one. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He steps out at the 47-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Washington State is up by eight. He goes downtown. Again, he's tackled at the 16 yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. And he's hit immediately. with a first and goal. I think the defense jumped the gun a little bit on that play. Defense. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's under some heat, and he's going to be sacked. That is a loss of nine on the play. That brings him second and goal. Washington State holds an eight-point advantage. He makes it to the six-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. He really did a nice job of anticipating the run and making the play on the ball carrier. Rose, complete touchdown. And for Bell, he's been a scoring machine. Now up to four catches for touchdowns. What a lift this young man is giving to this offense. He's been a one-man wrecking crew for the air attack. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's an eight-play, 52-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. 
The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 31. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, this is really just one of those games where it's all coming together. He's making the right reads, he's delivering the football in rhythm, and the most important thing is he's playing with confidence. While it's nice to be having a game like this, he traded all in for the lead right now. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. He makes it to the 32-yard line. is in and it's picked off by the safety to the 20 and he scores touchdown and he adds the extra point Line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the of mistakes. Fires right side, got his tailback. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Got it. Complete, and he's out of bounds. That play is good for eight yards and a first down. It's the protection up front that allowed this play to happen. The line controlled the rush, and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. Dumps it complete over the middle. Tackle at the 44. Rodgers brings him down at the 44-yard line. That makes it second and six. Zips it out to his runner, and he's got him again. And down he goes at the 48. Number 18 on the tackle at the 48-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. He gets to about the 41-yard line. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. Let's go! Little toss across the middle. And he's taken down at about the 39-yard line. That's a game of two. That makes it second and eight. The 39-yard line. Second down. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Throws. He's at the 20. Open man, and it's his wide receiver. Excellent open field tackle. Number 18 makes the tackle at the 14-yard line. First down. He's wrapped up for the sack. That's a loss of eight yards. That'll make it second and nine. Tenth play of the drive. He's got it. Touchdown.
They'll go for two in this situation. 51, Mike. Mike 51. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Under pressure. And they won't get the two. A 10-play, 75-yard drive. But the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. And he's taken down at the 43. Washington State's expertise carrying the football is what we thought was going to be in the spotlight today, and here it's been the passing game instead. Yeah, we really thought this running back would have one of those days you'd remember for a long time, but this passing game has stepped up and been put this offense in a position to be able to win this game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. They run it left. He gets hit out of bounds at the 30-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. So let's check out the penalty. <laughs> Offense. That one will put the offense in a Just hole, a and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. Second down and 12. Ball on the 45. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. One yard loss for the halfback. Washington's gonna take their first time out of the half. Makes it to the 34. You know, that's a pretty good effort here by the offense to be able to pick up some yards on the ground, but they come up a little bit short and it's gonna set up a fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. Kicks up. And it's off the crossbar, no good. And that's a very fortuitous bounce for the defense as the ball doesn't make it through the uprights. Just a little more leg and he could have smacked that through. That was almost a great kick. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. That's good for him. That makes it first and ten. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Just under two to go in the game. He fires right side. On the pass, touchdown. They pretty much had their way with the defense there. Terrific play. And they're looking to get two points here. Play 66 yard drive, and they get six points on the board after failing the two point conversion. I think the thing, Brad, that I'm seeing is the quarterback's taking advantage of some one on one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for this offense. He's tackled at the 42. His contributions have put them in prime position to pull off a pretty shocking win. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. And they make the stop at the 40. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 40. He's tackled the 37-yard line.
tackle made at the 32. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. From the 32-yard line, it's first down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. So much scoring and so much fun. And finally, it's over. Washington State, 45, Washington, 35. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.